So what I've done now is went back to the original thing I started doing, and that is putting the plates with the Dawn and the warm water and the lights. Try to use as bright as light as you can. As you can see, it works. I didn't even think there was any fleas in my kitchen, but apparently they're everywhere. I don't have much furniture or anything left because of these bastards. But the key is, you know, anything you do is going to help, but you can work yourself ass off, almost kill yourself and your dogs like I did with the real strong stuff, the peritherium or whatever the hell it's called right there. You know, the high yield, and then you got your IG regulator and that demon stuff, but, uh, you know, all kind of shit I've been using. I mean, everything I could find on every video. The uh, bombs seem like they work pretty good. What happens is you kill them all off. When you do stuff like bombs or this real strong poison or whatever, don't spray that in your dog's yard. That's what I did. My dogs went out there and ate the grass and almost died. I used uh, activated charcoal to save their life after taking them to a emergency veterinary clinic that charged me $500 to do nothing but... Uh, basically give them a bath they said oh you got too many chemicals on these dogs you need to quit spraying so much doing so much stuff and i'm like yeah right lady have you ever been in a, a major infestation before you know and uh so anyway i'm going to leave these from now on these damn plates with the dawn and a actually i put a little bit of lemon stuff in there too and probably a few other things. Be careful though, because uh, I like put witch hazel in there, and then I found out like it's got 15% grain alcohol. You, I started out last night with uh, tea tree candles, but uh, they went out luckily because they could have it could have started on fire with that witch hazel in there with the uh, grain alcohol. Anyway, this is a nightmare from hell. You know, the best thing I, I would say, you know, the vacuuming is good, but damn, it takes me all day to vacuum this whole place. So, you know, I mean, i got to take a break for a day or two. Then they show back up. What happens is every few days, you think you killed them all, and then them damn eggs hatch again, and you got all kinds of them again. You know, I'm feeling like they're starting to, uh, you know, they're starting to be a lot less of them. I feel like maybe I might have to get my dogs out of here again, go get another hotel, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll spray this real powerful poison. You gotta be careful too because it goes through your air conditioning vents and stuff and my whole room was filled up with chemicals and that's, you know, I almost freaking died from the shit myself, man, because I stuck some on my head and then I went in the shower and opened my eyes and my eyes were burning out of my head for like a whole day and a half and almost went to the ER, but I didn't, uh, you know, kills all kind of other bugs too. Freaking deck, I've been spraying it with that real powerful shit, but then I'm afraid the intake on my AC unit's gonna suck it in and bring it back in the house again. I mean, the only thing really to do, man, is get to a hotel, get the dogs out of here for a while and, you know, bomb it and do that poison maybe, and then come back, see if these baby bastards, I haven't seen no adults in a while. I did buy the Soresto collars though for 63 bucks a piece, three of them, and, you know, that was part of the 500. And, uh, they seem to be working. I don't know. I, I don't really see any on my dogs. I don't know. I started thinking maybe there's mites here too or even lice or something. I bought stuff for lice because, I mean, I'm, my dogs just keep on itching and biting. And I was digging on one of my dogs this morning, the white one, Tinkerbell, and I found a couple places where it looked like there was bugs embedded in her legs and skin. So, I don't know. I'm going to just keep watching, keep uh, digging, see what happens. I'm going to go get in my sauna for... Uh, Hopefully 40 to an hour, 40 minutes to an hour, because uh, that definitely kills any kind of bugs on you. Uh, my dogs can't last that long, probably about 10 minutes, though. Anyway, I feel for anybody that has to fight this war. You know, you won't have a war like this if you don't let an infested animal in your house that rolls around on your carpets and plants them eggs and it turns into larvae and then these damn cocoons or whatever that can last for 100 days. It's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Poor dogs are so stressed out over this flea infestation and almost dying from the chemicals that I put out in their yard. They won't even go out in the yard anymore. I've basically been letting them pee and go poop in the house in my room because they're scared to even get off the bed.
And also they say that the coconut oil works. But you know what? You can't put coconut oil on your dogs. They'll sit there and lick it. Lick it like crazy. The next thing you know, if they got any fleas on them, they lick it off their self and they ingest the damn fleas. The next thing you know, you got worms. And my day to get my dogs new pills coming up here on the 6th. Today's the 3rd. I'm going to make sure I got the one with the worms pill uh, for fleas, ticks, and worms. Which uh, I'm going to have to check out that front line plus is what I'm hearing is pretty good. Can't watch enough videos about fleas, I'm telling you. So Fergie lasted about 15 minutes. This is my little girl Tinker. Got her rubbed down with some coconut oil. It's very good for skin and bugs. We're going to try to go 10 minutes with her. Because she was another one that was poisoned pretty bad. And I'm a lot, still worried about... I've uh, been feeding them some more uh, peanut butter with... Uh, activated charcoal in it the only problem they lick it all off hopefully there's no bugs they're licking off with it but her skin definitely needed it because the poison made it very pink she'll last about 10 minutes but anyway they got this thing like if you get some of these wooden utensils this is my favorite one right here you take it on your skin and you dig like this all the way everywhere on your skin on your chest your arms and your neck you dig it real hard when you start itching from sweating and the oil it helps get any kind of parasites you might have on you it helps open your pores every human has at least a thousand species of mites and creepy crawlers on their cells man believe it or not it's pretty gross but going in this sauna at 140 for a long period of time in the sauna every day as a method of killing these bugs too. I even got my dog. Well, I'm bringing one at a time in. This is my Fergie. She's the one that almost died. One of the ones that almost died. And I got her covered with coconut oil in here too. I usually just leave them in here until they start patting. The other two only last about 10 minutes. I like to go 40 minutes to an hour. I'm already 20 minutes in. You ain't ready to get out already, are you? Anyway, because she almost died, and this is one way of getting toxins out of her more, aside from the activated charcoal that I gave her that saved her life. No thanks to the emergency vet place. Anyway, I'm in major battle with these bugs. I swear, man, I keep wondering if there's something like mites or something too. All right, this is most likely gonna be my last video on this uh, flea infestation. Hope it helps somebody, because it is a nightmare. I think I've even got some kind of airborne, no see them, something flying around in here now. I've been trying to stick to all the natural stuff. I haven't used this right here yet, this vet's bet, but, and for the yard. After me and my dogs almost dying, uh, you know, sticking to the essential oils for spraying on my dogs and see they're still biting. This is almost a month later. I put fly tape er up everywhere because I think there's this airborne shit going on here now when I started pulling my carpeting and everything up. I try to wear light colored pants and shoes so I can see if them little bastards are jumping on me. Every time you think they're gone, they're back again. I really like the uh, lemon based uh, cleaners and stuff. I got this little bottle. I mixed all this stuff up in. I put this cinnamon oil, which is some wicked stuff. Don't get it on your skin, but damn, if it burns your skin that bad, it's got to kill them damn bugs. And cedar wood oil is good, and the peroxide. That's real strong peroxide. Lysol, all-purpose baking soda, borax. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of lemon-based stuff. The vinegar, apple cider vinegar. <clears throat> um, don't put it on yourself if you don't want them jumping on you. All kinds of Epsom salts. I got salt all over my floor. I done, Like I said before, I burned all my furniture, all the beds now pretty much. Uh, I uh, have these uh, test plates out now. I just cleaned them out again. And every few days, these bastards seem to show up again. So I done uh, gutted my place basically. And I'm, I'm pulling up the carpet and padding now. Uh... 
you know, be careful with this stuff like this right here that's real strong. Don't spray it around you. Don't spray it on your dogs or around them or let it get in your air vents. Uh, here's all my, I don't know if you can even see in here, but I got all my furniture, all, most of my furniture in my living room now because I'm going to pull all the carpet. I pulled all the carpet padding out of here. It was nasty underneath. Uh, this was the most infested room, the one that she had the uh, linens and blankets and all in the closet. I found a huge mold, black mold spot under here. Uh, it's a lot better now, believe it or not. Uh, and then this closet where my water heater's at, the floor is pretty nasty. They had two sets of carpet. I pulled up the one carpet and padding and then there was tack strips on top of an old carpet in here and it was glued down. So I'm working my ass off getting this shit out of here. Believe me, uh, be careful with the bleach too. Powerful stuff. Uh, it'll go through your vents and get in your room, your dogs, whatever. You just gotta be careful with that shit. I got most of my furniture out here. Uh, I'm gonna end up pulling the rest of the carpet out of both of these rooms here. I got half of it out, out of this one already. Uh, freaking tile floor, not tile with that laminated shit underneath that carpet. But I'm going back with all tile. I'm not doing no more hardwoods, no more. And this was another one that them dogs were in. Uh, I'm going to have to yank the carpet in. I burned a lot of the curtains. I, that's the only set that I kept. Very few set that I burned the ones that were on my sliding doors going out to my deck. My deck, I haven't even been out there. I'm, I hit it with that real powerful shit that almost killed me and my dogs again. And I'm going to hit the outside with that too. In my dog's yard, I've been spraying only... Uh, Dawn and uh, peppermint shampoo in my uh, sprayer that water goes through. In any case, uh, I think I've almost got them licked. We'll see if any show up in these plates tomorrow or in the next couple of days. And then i got to get back on pulling the carpeting and padding out so I can start putting tile and paint. All. I'm going to kill all these floors, walls, repaint everything and put all, all tile down. And here's some other stuff I picked up tonight at the... Uh, Pets uh, smart, uh, but I'm kind of scared about it, so I'll keep it for uh, places way away from my dogs. Anyway, I never knew that it could be this much of a nightmare. So good luck, anybody that's going through this. I hope it helps you. I still haven't figured out 100% what's going on here, but I'm telling you, this sulfur, scabies, and bug bite stuff, every time I feel a little itch, I put some of that, and it works awesome, man. And getting in that sauna infrared sauna on mine and covering yourself with pure 100 percent unprocessed uh organic coconut oil and then taking a shower and a bath with all that scabies and, and mite soap uh you feel the best after that and also just keep watching them videos man i'm telling you it's crazy i'm telling you this shit can make you think you're going crazy but there is hope. Just keep plugging away at it. Do anything and everything possible to get rid of this shit. Well, I can honestly say I feel like a miracle finally happened. And I got rid of those little blood-sucking vampire bastards from hell. I know I've said that before and every other day they showed up again, but... The truth is, this time, <clears throat> it's been three or four days, and they are gone. I cleaned the carpet a bunch of times with my carpet cleaning machine. Every bit of carpeting and stuff, bed linens. I know I've been repeating myself. I apologize again because this is several different uh, videos. But every bit <clears throat> of carpet, padding, throw rugs, pillows, blankets, couches, uh, beds that you've seen in these videos, I burned because the little bastards kept showing up. Uh, this is the room that was the worst. Finally ended up giving in and burning that bed too. Pulled up all this carpet and padding. Turned out there was a big black mold spot right here. Uh, it looks a lot better now since I've been hitting it with bleach over and over. Uh, 
This bot over here behind the door was rotted out. I patched it up with some vinyl and some uh, some uh, heavy duty glue and the airborne stuff I think was coming through these cracks right here between these doors. I patched those up with some vinyl and glue also. I'm getting ready to kill this whole place. Um, repaint everything. I'm gonna clean the floors one more time with the carpet cleaning machine. Um, this one had vinyl underneath the carpet and padding. I uh, Ripped it all out. I am trying to salvage this one room with the carpet in it. I did burn the bed and everything else that was in here though. Uh, probably strip it out, but man, it's just so much work I don't feel like. But anyway, the fleas are gone. The airborne stuff's pretty much gone too. Uh, dehumidifier worked great for the airborne bugs. Um, plus, you know, continue spraying and spraying and spraying and all the couch carpets everything that were out there on the deck my man cave <clears throat> ended up burning it too gotta clean all this furniture up after i finished doing all the rooms and all putting them back together and burn most of the curtains anything you know i think i had dust mites too <laughs> it's unbelievable i live in a real dusty area out in the country uh very sandy, very dusty. My room was the was the least infested. I did burn a lot of blankets, all my pillows and all that though. Um, <clears throat> tell you what, unreal. Went yesterday and bought a bunch of stuff for the remodel. That's like four hundred dollars worth of kills and paint and glue and stuff. One thing I do got to say, uh, this made me very disciplined. I, I did a whole lot of fasting. I've been in my sauna every day and, you know, lost a bunch of weight. Got my freaking abs back pretty much almost. Uh, just thankful that my dogs lived through this ordeal. Come on, babies. Get in here. Come on. Tinker. Uh, again, I apologize for the repeat on a lot of stuff. I'd be glad to get this place back together and back to normal, but I'll guarantee you I'll be very careful about anybody that I let in my house or move in or rent or anything. So in any case, hopefully this helps somebody. Y'all be careful. Have fun fighting this war if you get into it. Well, if your situation is going to be as extreme as mine... But I'm telling you, I got all these bottles with essential oils, coconut oils, and all kind of stuff. Got this scabicide stuff. There is unseen airborne shit all through my house. And I'm talking about, these are microscopic. I got this spray. I spray it all over uh, your curtains, any material you have, everywhere. Uh, all these different things and I'm telling you I even got religious stuff playing on my TV out here because there I'm under a spiritual attack, too uh, I'm telling you this girl here Jenny Weaver is one of the most powerful freaking anointed uh, Girls, but I'm telling you I walk out here Especially in this room that was infested the worst that had the mold in the floor and everything and I feel unseen microscopical shit jumping all over me and yeah, i'm not imagining it i'm telling you it is very real and it's crazy get you a dehumidifier or a couple of them and run them like crazy and keep spraying that shit everywhere as soon as i kill everything i'm gonna kill well first i'm gonna bring my carpet cleaning machine in here and do like i did in this other room and i'm gonna spray the whole room down with a very strong bleach solution i'm going to spray the ceiling the walls windows closets everything because i feel like the room that i did that in i don't feel shit jumping all over me and i'm going to do it in that one with the carpet too uh this is the one that i did took the wand and sprayed the whole thing and also it's a good prep for if you're gonna uh paint and stuff too this is a crazy nightmare man <laughs> wouldn't wish it on 
anybody. <laughs>